Good afternoon, my dear colleagues. Uh, I would like today um, talk with you about drug inducing cutep uh, Q prolongation and torsides de points. For our new participants, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Galina Cordero. I am a medical doctor, master degree uh, with uh, scientific background, uh, QPPV, qualified person pharmacovigilance, head of pharmacovigilance department, and clinical expert in GCK Pharmac. We uh, meet situation about uh, which um, we should pay attention on uh, safety patient. Safety patient, the safety patient is the first point for medical doctors, pharmacists and for uh, healthcare professional general and uh, pharmaceutical industry. And this uh, drug induced QT prolongation is a lection of uh, to, uh, cardiotoxicity because drug inducing cardiotoxicity it will be another lecture Bulgada syndrome and others and uh, these uh, chapters will be uh, will be included in a book uh, drug um, <clears throat> maybe it will be safe medicines uh, in clinical practice uh, drug safety in clinical practice because uh, it's very important for safety uh, patient. When we're talking about drug-inducing QT prolongation and side the point, we should remember that this topic is important not just for cardiologists, but for medical doctors who has experience with prescribing different types of drugs. We will talk what kind of drugs can cause of drug inducing QT uh, prolongation. Drug, in, uh, drug induced QT uh, prolongation uh, was caused even withdrawal of uh, pharmaceutical markets and it's uh, for example fanspirit drugs and many groups can cause of QT prolongation easy as well. Uh, several words about basic of a, a, uh, normal QTC interval. It um, includes less than uh, 450 milliseconds at males and less than 460 milliseconds in females. And uh, it's a uh, buzzed corrected QT uh, values uh, for uh, specialists uh, who should know a GG as well too. What consider to be prolonged QT interval? Uh, it's uh, you should understand that uh, the QTC interval is a surrogate marker of prorhythmic risk and literature differs with regard to the QTC interval that will rise concern over development of arrhythmias as well. As a guide, borderline prolonged QTC interval uh, it's uh, more than 450 milliseconds, but less 500 milliseconds in males, and uh, more than 460 milliseconds, but less than 500 milliseconds in females. Also, as, uh, literature differs, uh, a QTC interval within these values is considered borderline prolonged. Consideration should be given to those reduction of QT prolonging drugs or changing to an alternative non-QT prolonging drug. Prolonging QTC interval more than 500 milliseconds in males and females. A QTC interval more than 500 uh, milliseconds is clinical, significant and likely to confer an increased risk of arrhythmia. Any drugs that prolong the QTC interval should be reviewed immediately. Three-step approach may be an easy-to-use standardized method of measured QT. Measure QT from the initial inflection of the Q wave to the end to the T wave, defined it as in the intersection of a tangent to the step pass slope of the last limb of the T wave and the buzzer line. 
apply Basis formula to obtain QTC defined as QT divide or VRR from the RR interval between the measured the preceded complex of the ADG. Apply appropriate QTC this fold to differentiate normal from prolonged QT interval as well too. The QT interval is the length of time required for the heart to repolarize following the onset depolarization. Ventricular depolarization expresses as a QRS complex on an electrocardiogram EGG is a rapid movement uh, of ions, sodium, potassium and calcium, across the cellular membrane, creating electrical imp impulses that lead to ventricular contraction. When the outflow of potassium from the myocardium exceeds the inflow of sodium and calcium repolarization occurs, is expressed as a T wave on the AGG. And the, uh, is if the ion channel, channels of the myocardium malfunction, most commonly the delayed potassium rectifier channels and excess sodium influx or decreased potassium efflux may result. This surplus of positively charged ion leads to extended repolarization phase, so resulting in a prolonged QT interval causing arrhythmias such as torso depoints, a potentially life threatening ventricular arrhythmia. And you can see both include QT interval on the pictures, and this is a QTC is uh, has formula and you should remember it too. Uh, QT interval shortness, uh, heart rate can affect in the time for polarization. A rapid uh, heart rate can lead uh, to a shortness QT interval too. To correct of this, the QT interval is often expressed as heart rate corrected QT interval QTC. The QTC can be calculated using the Bazet formula, which corrects for heart rate by dividing the QT interval by the square root of the difference between the RC of two, two QRS complexes. It's remember Bazet formula, please. QT prolongation. The QTC is considered prolonging if the values are greater than the uh, 450 milliseconds in males and greater than 470 milliseconds in females. The risk of cardiac events correlate with the extent of QT prolongation. However, uh, no QTC value has been established for cardiac arrhythmia. The most common ventricular arrhythmia such as TDP have been uh, torso at the points. Heart mean have been associated with the QTC greater than 500 uh, milliseconds. Prolongation of the QT interval can lead to life written ventricular arrhythmia known as torso at the points, which can result in sudden uh, cardiac death too. There are a number of widely used drugs which are known to cause QT prolongation. The Medicines Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, Mature of Great Britain, uh, has issued a number of warnings related to drug induced, induced QT prolongation for some commonly used drugs uh, Citalopharm, uh, Domperidone, Andonsertron, Hydroxyzine and quinine. Extra vigilance is required by healthcare professionals to be alert to the risk of drug-induced QT prolongation and drug interaction. But the physiology of QT prolongation is the mechanism of most potential QT prolonging medication is inhibition of the KCNH2 uh, encoding H 
ERG, Human as a Go Go Related Gen, Potassium Channel. The Human as a Go Go Related Gen, Potassium Channel mediated uh, IKR, rapid component of the delayed rectifier potassium current, that is important of the phase 3 of cardiac action potential repolarization. Inhibition of this current results in prolongation of the action potential duration and prolonging QT interval. Cardiac action potential, uh, if you see pictures, phase 3 depolarization is mediated by IQG, rapid component of the delayed rectified potassium current, uh, the delayed rectified uh, potassium current is 2 Almost all of the drugs the cause LQTC block the current. When we're talking about risk factors for QT prolongation, this risk can be divided uh, potential mo modifiable electrolyte disturbance, in particular uh, hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia, and more rarely hypokalemia. Considering the risk of electrolyte disturbance if patient has diarrhea vomiting, bradycardia, concomitant use of more than one drug that prolongs the QT interval, and non-modifiable Risk factors for QT prolongation include congenital long QT syndrome, cardiac disease of multiple regions including congestive heart failure, ventricular hypertrophy, recent conversion from IF myocardial infarction, impaired hepatic renal function due to effects of drug metabolism, Steroid disease more common with hypothyroidism and usually normalizes with treatment. Female uh, sex and over age over 65 year, uh, years old. Uh, risk factors for QT prolongation include two electrolyte abnormalities, hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia, hypocalcemia, female gender, genetic, asymptomatic, symptomatic carriers of long QT syndrome mutation, genetic polymorphism, bradyarrhythmia, sinus bradycardia, and anteroventricular block. And QT prolongation can lead to torsade points, is an EGG manifestation characterized by a form of ventricle tachycardia with a spiral appearance in complex that first look positive and then negative. Drug inducing QT prolongation act as a marker for ease of progression of torso point. However, drug inducing QT interim prolongation does not always progress uh, to torso points. And we see uh, that uh, uh, all risk uh, factors for torsion deployments is prolonging QTC more than 500 milliseconds, use of QT prolongation medication, heart failure, myocardial infarction, age more than 65, female gender, hypokalemia, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia, uh, bradycardia, hard work, and genetic polymorphism, and all these risk factors can be divided as a patient specific factors, including electrolyte disturbance, specifically potassium, magnesium, and calcium, genetic polymorphism, increasing uh, torso deployment risk, and drug therapy, QT prolongation medication. As in a table, risk factors include female gender. This uh, confers uh, twofold increased risk and age greater than 65 years. The presence of the multiplier risk factors additively increase a patient risk of torso depoint. Torso depoint is type of polymorphic ventricular bradycardia. The incidence of torso depoints from uh, is life threatening uh, consequences. The mortality of torso depoint is approximately 10-20%. Torso depoint is associated with prolonged QT interval for every 
10 millisecond increases in QT interval. Long QT interval can be congenital or acquired. The latter is most often drug inducing. In clinical practice, multiply drugs may cause torsor deposits. Several of them uh, have been withdrawn from the market due to torsor deposits such as uh, tisapride. Uh, draperidol and terfenadine. Example of drug induced torsor deployment on EGG, you can see too, itself uh, li limiting torsor deployment leading to ventricle fibrillation, is, uh, which can, uh, has, uh, which can um, um, has little uh, cause to. And arrhythmogenic of torsor deployment. Uh, uh, it's uh, involved um, channels, uh, calcium channels, and tetracycl calcium current and uh, uh, decrease repolarization current, which can cause uh, early often depolarization and increase action potential or duration in uh, Purkinje fibres and M cells relative to AP and endocardial cells. Uh, from another tone, early offer depolarization uh, can cause the trigger activity and uh, uh, action, uh, increasing action potential and duration of Purkinje fibres in M cells relative to epi and endocardial cells can cause um, increase in heterogeneity dispersion of intracardial repolarization and as a result it can be unidirectional block intramural reentry circuit and can be peer torso deployment uh, which can be two results non uh, sustain it and cause a syncope and uh, sustain it and it can be the de degeneration into vf and cardio arrest as well uh, written strip is patient you can see um, in the, this picture with drug induced tors tors at the point, know the typical short, long, short in initiated vent ventricular cycle, pause dependent QT prolongation, abnormal TU wave, leading to the classical twisting of a point of the cardio axis du uh, during torso at the point. Drug induced torso at the point can be cause of drug interaction. Pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamic, dynamic, uh, drug gen interaction, genetic polymorphism, and expiry polarization reserve CFR. Mechanism of each drug can interact and increase the risk of QT prolongation. Uh, we can start from pharmacodynamic interaction and the concurrent use of more than one drug that prolongs the QT interval increases the risk of torso points and ventricle arrhythmia. A uh, direct effect of the heart as an individual drug action or in combination with other drugs is termed uh, a pharmacodynamic effect. Examples, examples include the effects of cocaine and methadone of the human as a go-go related gene, as ERG, potassium channels in the myocardium. Other drugs implicated in pharmacodynamics effects can be amiodarone, uh, haloperidol, and citalopram. Pharmacokinetic interaction as a mechanism by which drugs can interact and the risk of effective prolongation. Pharmacokinetics effects refer to drugs of other substances that do not directly prolong, uh, prolong the QT intervals themselves, but may reduce clearance and or the metabolism of a drug that may prolong the QT interval. For example, claritromycin has uh, Tetrachrome 3A inhibiting activity, which may increase the concentration of QT prolonging drugs as well. In addition, claritromycin can also have a direct pharmacodynamic effect 
on IHRG potassium channels. Some drugs which do not prolong the QT interval themselves can increase the risk of QT prolongation by affecting the metabolism of drugs they do. Commonly used exams of this include antifungal which inhibit the cytochrome 3A4 enzyme. List of the drug known to inhibit or induce lefizin can be found in stocklase. Pharmacokinetic effects refer to drugs of other substance that do not directly prolong the QT interval themselves but may reduce clearance and or the metabolism of drugs they may prolong of the QT interval. For example, claritromycin has uh, cytochrome 3A inhibiting activity which may increase the concentration of QT prolonging drugs. In addition, Claritromycin can also have a direct pharmacodynamic effect of IHRG potassium channels. Drug interactions have effects of electrolytes, hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia, can increase the risk of QT prolongation, direct caused hypokalemia, can increase the risk of QT prolongation, especially when given with QT prolongation drugs. Non-pharmacologist non factors and prolong it and torso the point. As assume uh, it's uh, age, female gender, age more than 65 years, body cardia, left ventricular failure, sense cardioversion, congenital long QT syndrome, electrolyte abnormalities, hypomagnesemia, hypokalemia, apocalcemia, and hepatic dysfunction. Uh, Medication that are commonly used of that high risk of QT prolongation. Uh, it's a um, category antiarrhythmics. It's a uh, disapiramide, procainamide, quanidine, uh, sotalol, amiodarone, bretilium, uh, antimicrobials, erythromycin, macrolides, claritromycin. Macrolides, azithromycin, levofloxacin, floquinone, mofifloxacin, sparafloxacin, hatifloxacin, repofloxacin, trimetoprim, sulfametoxazole, pentamidine, quinine, itraconazole, ketoconazole, fluconazole, uh, chloroquinine, halofantrine, metafluquine, amantadine, and spiramycin. Antihistamines, astamizole, diphenylhydramine, ebastine, terfenadine, and hydroxazine. Antidepressants, doxepine, venflazine, floxetine, desipramine, imipramine, chlorpramine, peroxetine, citroline, and citalopharm. Antipsychotic, chlorpromazine, pro, uh, prochlorprazine, trifluoxazine, flufenazine, felbamate, aloperidol, teoridize, droperidol, epimazidine, uh, lithium, and others. Antimigraine, narotriptan, sumatriptan, zomitriptan. Uh, bronchodilatators, albuterol, solmeterol, uh, diuretics, indapamide, tiazid, furosemid, astrointestinal stimulants, cisaprid, metaclomperamid, damperidone, hormones, osteotadide, vasopressid, immunosuppressive, tacrolimus, and others. And uh, you see that Medication associated with uh, torso de points. Um, I mean, there, uh, why we talking about that? Uh, it can uh, touch not just and involve not just cardiologists but other specialities. Because, uh, as we see, for example, claritromycin uh, is antibiotic. Uh, Amiodarone. Uh, it's arrhythmia, it's cardiology, uh, chlorpromazan, torazine, mania, schizophrenia, agita agitation, it's psychoneurology, disapiramide, arrhythmia, dofidine arrhythmia, erythromycin, 
it's macrolide antibiotic methadone it's pain management uh, broken eye meat arrhythmia quinidine arrhythmia cetylor arrhythmia possible risk of torsor depoins um, levofloxacin antibiotic moxifloxacin antibiotic nicotine cml uh, andosterone nozovomitin ranolazine chronic angina sunitinib gastrointestinal stromal tumor uh, ziprazidone schizophrenia bipolar disorder conditional risk of torso depoint amitriptyline depression ciprofloxacin antibiotic ipramine depression uh, chlorotylodonide hypertension not listed um, we see that uh, it's divided or the risk of torso depoint possible risk of torso depoint and conditional risk of torso depoint not listed uh, is um, chlorotalidone hypertension does it need uh, cml hydrochlorothiazid hypertension ephrosimid hypertension edema genetic mechanism drug inducing prolongation uh, the mechanisms underlying the impact of certain drugs on the QT interval have not been fully elucidated. However, in most instances, it is so to relate to effect on specific potassium channels known as rapid dilated rectifiers. This play a crucial role in cardiac repolarization and their inhibition extend individual action potential and hence prolongs the QT interval. And when we see effects of drug of full organ function, the effects of a drug on the function can be viewed in a cascade. It's divided molecular target, cellular action and full organ effect. And uh, uh, elimination by excretion, drug administration, metabolitis, mm, uh, and it can be on molecular target, cellular target, azotrotic metabolic action, cellular action, and full organ effect. Uh, Hereditary channel decreases serum car level, we can uh, effect on uh, IGRG channel and ion channel polymorphism and decreased heart rate can cause uh, action potential prolongation and as a result as well towards the point. And resume it, uh, the effects of a drug on the function of an organ can be viewed as a cascade. The delivery of the drug to molecular site of action is the first step. In each yellow area in the center of the figure, subsequent generic levels of action are shown on the left, with a specific example of drug induced torsade points on the right. Drug metabolites may also contribute to the clinical effects on the drug. In each level, physiological, genomic, and drug specific or metabolite specific properties may influence the drug effects that occurs. Example, in a case of torsade points associated with IGRG blockade are shown on the right. A fundamental difficulty with toxic drug effects that occur at low frequency and then action is the level of molecular target is imperfect predictor of the effect of full organ. Uh, antiarrhythmic agents class 1 antiarrhythmic agents quinidine, dizopyramide uh, and procanamide have frequently been linked to inducing arrhythmia, including torso de point. Reports have estimated that quinidine can cause torso de point in 1 to 8 percent of patients, even of lower doses. Class 1 quinidine and class 1A antiarrhythmic agent reduces the depolarization rate and prolongs prolongs the refractory period by blocking potassium channel at low concentration and blocking sodium channels at higher concentration. The cause torsion the points to occur and approximately 4% to 8% of patients treated with quinidine. Procanibit is another class of IA antiarrhythmic agent. To become active, procanibit is converted to N-acetylprocanibit. 
Toxic levels of the metabolite can increase the risk of QTC prolongation and torsor depoint. Uh, torsor diagenic potential of drugs in its classification uh, include uh, class 1 high torsor diagenic potency, potency class I drugs are potential blockers of current prolonged myocardial repolarization action potential uh, prolongation and the induction of early uh, after depolarization have been documented. The IC50 of this effect in the same range as the IC50 for therapeutic action. QT prolongation has been documented in therapeutic doses and concentration and causes of torso at the point induced by the drug alone. In the absence of concomitant therapy, prolonged repolarization of hypokalemia have been documented. Class B medium high torsodogenic potency, it's uh, class B prolonged myocardial repolarization, cardiac action potential duration in QT interval of higher doses or at normal doses with concomitant administration of drugs that inhibit drug metabolism by inhibiting the tetachrome. Uh, per uh, 450 metabolism. This IC50 for this prolongation of repolarization is greater than IC50 of the therapeutic effect. Causes of torso points induced by the drug alone have been documented. This arrhythmia, however, usually associated with metabolic inhibition and the presence of other risk factors. Low autosodogenic potential is class C, prolonged exit potential duration and QT interval in higher doses of concentration that are clearly greater than the therapeutic range. This effect of the repolarization becomes manifest only with overdose or intoxication or in presence of serum metabolic inhibition. Causes of torso the points have been documented. It almost a published cases, however, several factors that are the well known to increase the propensity for the development of torso the points. These factors were present and the sudden general potential is not clear. Uh, this class includes uh, uh, drugs too. Uh, class 3 amiodarone works by blocking beta adrenergic receptor and sodium, potassium and calcium channels. Amiodarone has a low incidence of prearrhythmia, neurythmia, or worsening of existing arrhythmia, and torso deploying compared with other antiarrhythmics because it uta utilizes several different mechanisms of action. The incidence of torso deploying may increase with long term therapy electrolyte disturbance and combination with other medications that may prolong QTC intervals. Sotalol and uh, miodarone class 3 antiarrhythmics are known to prolong the QT interval by blocking the IKR. However, the risk of torso deployment with amiodarone is slower when compared with sotalol. High drug concentration of sotalol can lead to QTC intervals that are prolonged but approximately 10 to uh, 40 uh, milliseconds or a by increasing the incidence of torso points. With the exception of quinidine, the degree of QT prolongation linking to the antiarrhythmics depends on serum drug levels. Uh, Cetalol and other class 3 antiarrhythmics blocks beta receptors and inhibit potassium repolarization. Cetalol is eliminated by the kidney, therefore, disease adjustment based on creatinine clearance uh, help prevent toxicity of QTC prolongation. Because of QTC prolongation may be experienced in the therapeutic disease, this medication should be started with the patient is hospitalized. The reported incidence of prearrhythmic effects is around 5 to 6, which 1 to 2 percent the bit also the point. Dofetilide is electron potassium channel blocker. Dofetilide prolongs the refractory period without causing any changes in conduction 
or contractility. The QT center wall changes and the incidence of torsos at the point are directly related to the plasma concentration of the fatty lead. Most reported instances of torsos at the point occurred with the first few days of therapy. It is recommended to obtain the preliminary AGG to those basing on the of creatine clearance and to monitor by EGG and QTC prolongation. Antimicrobial agents. Fluoroquinolones, macrolides and antifungal agents have been associated with prolonged QT interval and torso deployments. Uh, quinolones uh, are widely used in antibiotics, frequently prescribed for the treatment of respiratory and urinary tract infection. Ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, uh, gatifloxacin, and moxifloxacin are mostly common prescribed as fluoroquinolones in the United States. Sparfofloxacin is the only fluoroquinolone to exhibit activity to similar to class 3 antiarrhythmics was found to the most likely of this agent to cause a prolonged QT interval leading to its withdrawal from the market. Repofloxacin, not marketed in the United States, has also been shown to increase the QTC interval, also not significantly as parfofloxacin. Levofloxacin induced torso deployment have been published in the literature too. Fluoroquinolones have a variable effects on QT prolongation. Uh, if we're talking about sparfloxacin and grapofloxacin related QT prolongation have caused discontinuation in preliminary drug development, whereas other fluoroquinolone unlikely to cause QT changes. It is unclear whether fluoroquinolone QT prolongation occurs as a class effect or is associated with individual agents. In comparison of ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, and morphifloxacin uh, has shown to cause the most pronounced QT prolongation, also with interaction with potassium channel. Macrolides, specifically erythromycin, exhibit electrophysiology effects similar to those of the class amiodarone, sotalol, ibutilid, and ofidilid. Macrolides can prolong myocardial action potential but be dispensed and electrical activity over the ventricle wall, leading to a prolonged QT interval of torsi points. Erythromycin is also an inhibitor of Ciftofrom 3H4, which poses danger of significant pharmacokinetic interaction with numerous drugs, most significantly Cisoprizid. QT prolongation with macrolide antibiotic occurs because of potassium channel suppression drug drug interaction. Chlorithromycin, roxithromycin, erythromycin are believed to have the greatest ability to reduce repolarization through potassium channels, giving them the largest erotic effect of QT interval. Macrolide antibiotics have varied ability to inhibit the from 3H4 activity, increasing the risk of QT prolongation with other drugs. Antifungals, as so antimicrobials, microbial agents, antifungals uh, such as ketoconazole and intraconazole may have an effect of potassium channels and results in prolonging of QT intervals. Antifungals are also potent inhibitors of cytochrome. Uh, 3H4. Consequently, when medication metabolized by 3H4 is an enzyme are co administrated with antifungals, the risk of QT prolongation increases significantly. Antipsychotic agent. In the past, antipsychotic agents have been linked to an increased risk of sudden death. It has been recently suggested the risk may be associated with QT prolongation. However, it is difficult to determine without EGG results. So the structural difference of the psychotic makes it difficult to assess effects this agency may have on QT intervals. Also, the exact mechanism by which antipsychotics 
lead to QT prolongations is unclear. They appear to exert the effects by blocking the care potassium channels, leading to delayed repolarization. Interference with the sodium and calcium channels in another potential mechanism. In regardless of the mechanism, QT prolongation associated with antipsychotic appears to be related to the dose and plasma concentration of the drug. Uh, antipsychotics first generation haloperidol is used to treat schizophrenia and several agitation. Both the oral and full formulation block potassium channels and are associated with torsion deployment. Haloperidol prolongs the QT interval by 50 milliseconds to 30 milliseconds, which may be amplified with the drug is combined with other medication that prolongs the QTC intervals. Chlorpromazine is an antipsychotic with an antimimetic, antimetic properties. It also suppresses potassium channels, creating the potential of QTC prolongation. Very few reports exist documenting the incidence of torso deployment with chlorpromazine. Antipsychotic second degeneration, ziprazidone blocks dopamine and serotonin. It can increase repolarization time by suppressing potassium current. The QT interval is prolonged in a dose dependent fashion up to 20 milliseconds. The QTC prolongation greater than 50 milliseconds, the possibly was due uh, to ziprazidone. Teoridazine, a phenotiazine antipsychotic, the cause significant blockade of IKR channels, have been associated with QTC prolongation and torso the point that has resulted in sudden death. The number of manufacturer of teoridazine uh, now recommends it used to be restricted to patients who have not responded to other antipsychotic or patients who are experiencing interable side effects with other agents. Causes of QT prolongation, torso deployment and death have also been associated with the use of haloperidol at therapeutic doses. However, the risk of adverse cardiac effects appears to be far lower with haloperidol when compared with theory design. Unlike aliteria design, haloperidol is still widely used. Higher doses of droperidol have also been associated with QT prolongation. Droperidol now has black box warning indicated this risk. Atypical antipsychotic agents have also been associated with QT prolongation. The risk of torso points appears to be lower than the, uh, that of theory design. The risk of QT prolongation seems to be greater with uh, ziprazidone compared with other atypical agents. A black box warning was added to the ziprazidone label, cited uh, the risk of ventricular arrhythmias, but the risk of torso deployment or sudden death is rare. Other typical antipsychotic agents such as clozapine, quatipine, risperidone, and alanzapine may also cause of QT prolongation with typically those related. Antidepressant, tricyclic uh, antidepressants and uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors have also been associated with QT prolongation and torso deployment. Tricyclic antidepressant of both sodium and IKR channels can potentially lead to electrophysiology changes such as widening of the QRS complex and QT interval prolongation when used in combination with drugs of inhibit metabolism and overdose occurs, the risk is increased. Also, there have been several case reports associated with the risk of QT prolongation and uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The documentation is limited and appears to occur as a result of pharmacokinetic interaction. The cyclic, um, Antidepressants have activity with both sodium and potassium channels. The prolonged depolarization, depolarization with sodium channels constitutes the major mechanism of QT prolongation. The combination of tricyclic antidepressants and drugs with decreasing effects on potassium channels may confer a greatest risk of torso deployment in QT prolongation. 
tricyclic antidepressants note is for their ability to prolong QT include amitriptyline, doxepine, dizepromine, eclopipromine. Antihistamine, uh, non-sedating antihistamine, uh, non-sedated uh, antihistamine were considered a potential cause of QT prolongation. Terfenadine and astimizol were found to have proarrhythmic effects, which led to the withdrawal from the market. 1998-1999, respectively. Also, uh, terfedonine was associated with increased risk of torsade point. The active uh, metabolite uh, flexafenadine was known and now on the market. Drug interaction affecting with the tachrome uh, uh, PEF 450 system and potential inhibition of IIKR channels are most likely the cause of QT prolongation. A new non-sedating antihistamines, loratadine, fluxofenadine and cetirizine have not been linked to the risk. Terazine kinase inhibitors, new terazine kinase inhibitor uses of treatment of virus cancer have been known to cause significant QT prolongation too. Sunitinib, ilotinib and dazotinib have been associated with varied amounts of QT prolongation at 10 milliseconds, 5 to 15 milliseconds and 3.3 milliseconds respectively. Depending on the indication, uh, Dacetinib may be a favorable alternative oven to the laser like hood of QT prolongation. Diuretic may directly increase the risk of torsade point by causing the excretion of potassium and magnesium. If untreated, this electrolyte disturbance can increase patient risk. Effect of other drugs that prolong the QT intervals are exacerbated by hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia. Ranolazine, an agent used to treat chronic hygiene, inhibits the sodium calcium exchange to reduce the amount of intracellular calcium. This result is decreased myocardial oxygen demand. At higher doses, ranolazine blocks the outward movement uh, of potassium, causing potential prolongation. Because of this, it has been speculated that ranolazine may increase the risk of torso deployment. Trials found that ranolazine could potentially prolong the QTC interval by 2 milliseconds to 6 milliseconds. However, evidence was limiting the QTC prolongation cause to torso deployment. Antimetics, domperidon, droperidon, and endocetron. Andocetron is a 5-HT3 antagonism used to prevent nausea and vomiting associated with cancer treatment with postoperative procedure. A study of postoperative nausea and vomiting found that postanesthesia patient possesses long QTC intervals. When given azidroperidol or andocetron, this patient experiencing a QTC interval greater than 500 milliseconds, resulting in the recommendation that this agent be used with caution for surgery over the risk of torso deployment. Schematic of casualty analysis of related drug safety and we see that uh, when we analyze this uh, case reported of credible meds or reports of medical literature and newly approved drugs for uh, FDA label change using bright full heel causality criteria evidence analysis and summary and credible meds team reviews all risks can be divided significant risk source of the points QT prolongation and clear, uh, torso deponents risk only under certain conditions and significant risk of torso deponent uh, can show drugs with risk of torso deponent. Uh, QT prolongation and clear risk of torso deponent show possible risk of torso deponent and torso deponent risk only under certain condition can show conditional risk of torso deployment and as well it will be result in continued monitoring. Clinical scenarios for torso deployment it can include concomitant therapy with another QT prolonged drugs, 
can combine therapy with potassium based in diuretic agents, can combine drug therapy that block the metabolism, metabolism of QT prolonged drug, develop a renal failure in a patient treating QT prolonged drugs that require renal elimination, for example, Sotalol, development of liver failure in patient treating with QT prolonged drugs that require hepatic metabolism for clearance, for example, methadone, development of a meeting of diarrhea resulting in electrolyte disturbance and potential security prolonging effects of drugs such as antimatic agents or antibiotic. Extended therapy with proton pump inhibitors that lead to uh, hypomagnesemia and, or hypokalemia. Therapy with a beta blocker or ivabradine that showed a rate and cerebi prolongs the QT interval. Excessive heterotrine titration to higher dose for QT prolonged drug due to lack of desired clinical response. Methadone, depression caused attempting suicide with toxic doses of QT prolonged drugs, antipsychotic and antidepressants, among others. And uh, torso deployment symptom and diagnosis. It uh, includes some synth symptoms with drug induced uh, torso deployment, polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Uh, in the setting of prolonged QT send interval, long short, long short initial sequence of CGG, a ventricle extracystole, uh, systole, uh, first bed short, followed by compensatory pause, which are following bit, second bit long, has a long QT interval, chest pain, dizziness, uh, dizziness, hypertension, light headiness, neosyncope, palpitation, scissors, shortness of breath, syndrome of sudden cardiac death, and tachycardia. Patient presented with any of other above symptoms should be evaluated for torso deployment. The diagnosis is made based on DGG findings with characteristic twisting of the point, twisting of the white curious complexes around the isoelectric baseline. Drug inducing torso at the point can occur at different time while the patient is receiving the offender of oral agents. When torso at the point occurs following for therapy, it usually corresponds with the expected time of the medication peak concentration. In addition, any patient who present to the emergency department following an overdose of QT prolonging drug should be evaluated for torso at the point. As a condition to considering the different diagnoses for drugs induced torso at the points include atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, atrial tachycardia, antriventricle node, entrant tachycardia, monomorphic ventricle, ventricle tachycardia, non torso de point polymorphic ventricle tachycardia, and sinus tachycardia. These tachyc uh, tachyarrhythmias need to be excluded by evaluating the AGG prior to diagnosis drug induced or depoid. Risk and benefits should be assessed when selecting medication known to prolong QT interval. Of course, the benefits of certain medication may far outweigh the risks associated with their use. For example, arsenic trioxide, also known to induce arrhythmia, may be necessary for the treatment of acute uh, promyelogic leukemia. However, it is important to note that generally, in other cases, a safer alternative may be available. The incidence of, Q incidence of QT prolongation towards at the point is well documented with antiarrhythmic agents. Also, they are beneficial for the cause termination for an arrhythmia that has but little documentation supporting the use for chronic management of arrhythmias. So, the risk of long-term management with arrhythmias may outweigh the potential benefit. It means that uh, before um, go, uh, coming the drug in, on the market, the pharmaceutical industry regularly make risk-benefit of every drug, including risk of uh, QT prolongation and TARSAT. The point. What can be done to minimize the risk drug induced QT prolongation? 
The risk of torso deployment depends on patient factors and current medication. A safe drug in one patient may potentially harmful in another. The risk and benefits must be determined on a case-by-case basis. A general guidance considers the risk of UQT prolongation when starting a new medicine if unsure of medicine-related risk, contact pharmacy for advice. Assess patients' risk factor for QT prolongation. Avoid QT prolonged drugs in patients with congenital long QT syndrome. Correct and modifiable risk factors such as electrolyte disturbance. When a patient has risk factors and all prescribed and interacting medicines, the first line option is to change to an alternative drug. It is not known to prolong QT interval whenever possible. As the decision is made concurrently prescribed to drugs that are known to prolong the interval, he should be clearly uh, documented in the medical notes. In the combination or in contraindicated specialist advice may be sold to. When would a GG monitoring recommend? The following advice is aiming in the non special special areas using medicine known to prolong the QT intervals may have local guidance to follow. Follow. It's not practical to recommend a DG of retirement QT prolonging medicine is prescribed, particularly primary care. This decision should be made on a case by case basis, taking into account any additional risk factors the patient has. The following could be considered as a guide. Considering carrying out a basal DG prior to starting QT prolonged drugs in patients with risk factors. Then repeat when the medicine reaches steady state. Inform the patient potential adverse effect to be aware of. If there is no alternative to using two drugs in combination, they are known to prolong the QT interval, especially in patients with additional risk factors. Carry out an AGG at baseline and then repeat when the new medicine is likely to reach a steady state. If long term use of two medicines that can prolong the QT interval, is deemed necessary, the patient should be followed up monitoring via specialist clinic. Any patient of QT prolonged drug who reports symptoms such as palpitation, like headness and dizziness, should be referred for an investigation in the their medication review. As prolonging QT interval is detected on EGG during hospital admission, ensure communication with the GP in a change during medication changes. What should you do before prescribing and prolonging medicine? Screen for other risk factors for QT prolongation, including possible medicine integration, electrolyte abnormalities, correct any modified risk factors. Baseline AGG should be performed in high risk patients or in patients receiving more than one QT prolonged medicine. A non QT prolonged medicine should be considered in the patient if possible. Do not prescribe a QT prolonged medicine to a patient already receiving class 1 and class 3 antiarrhythmic medicine. Patients should be advised to avoid consuming grateful juice, liquid, or any complementary medicine in addition to a QT prolonged medicine. How should QT prolonged medicine practice? You see, um, site where you can find as a tool uh, it is there risk before score for QT prolongation and predict the risk uh, of QT prolongation more than 500 milliseconds hospitalized patient uses risk factors are waiting suitable for fa patient with CCUS a score than a more or equal 11 predicted development of QT interval more than 500 milliseconds the tool was developed and Using patient admitting CUS and hence generosity and broader population may be limited. May safety scan, QT prolongation sc uh, score, you see may safety scan org site, a platform for therapeutic decision support and incorporate of the QT drug database from the credible mass website, the reliable drug drug interaction predictors to identify patient and a greater risk. Uh, or major uh, uh, adverse effect uh, with reliable drug uh, effect. 
build to uh, build to deliver accurate the therapeutic risk assessment without false positive for irrelevant uh, for uh, across this assessment without false uh, positives or error of information calculation q risks uh, score for ICU patient based on this delay risk score validated or non ICU patient using MCC Q the prolongation risk score non validated. It includes the risk factors in this Tisdalin tool and additional risk factors reported in the literature, such as drug interaction and other validated card risk factors. It is more comparison that the Tisdal tool provides advice of drug interaction. Risk of QT drug drug interaction assessment tool, uh, Sharma clinical disease support system, you can use it too. Uh, in Capel Castillo predict the model of drug associated QT prolongation. Uh, Bind uh, Robin risk model for predictable QTC interval prolongation patient using QTC prolonging drugs. An updated list of uh, QT prolonging medication assessing online. You can use uh, www. Uh, cred uh, credible meds org as extensive contains of data list of QT prolongation medication can be assessed online and uh, so is the credible medicine mobile app and uh, assume it you can see that uh, you should uh, um, uh, use tools for assessment uh, QT, uh, QT prolongation drugs because it's very important uh, and um, practical steps to reduce the risk for drug inducing QT prolongation patient to be started of drug known to prolong QT interval assess patient as a medicine for potential drug interaction additive QT prolongation Correct any modifal risk, and you see two ways patient has risk factors on describing interacting medicine. In this way, is there an, is there an alternative treatment than use known to cause QT prolongation uh, or contraindication if you uh, uh, assess of the drug combination? And yes, you should uh, understand how it look like. Um, QT prolongation on uh, EGG, consider basal in EGG, and after viewers, uh, QT prolongation significant changes. You should remember that uh, QT prolongation is also the point as a consequence of QT prolongation can be cause of sudden death. Preventive management withdrawal of any often drugs if possible, correction of the underlying electrolyte abnormalities, intravenous magnesium, cardiac patient, and is a proteinol infusion if temporary patient is unavailable. And treatment of torso deployment is uh, very important because the treatment of the cruise of for permanent progression. To VF uh, to VF or CCD, recommended therapies include correcting electrolytes as magnesium and potassium, discontinuous and often in agents, avoiding medication that call prolong the QTC interval and cardiovascular, magnesium supplementation, the first light rhythm of torso deployment, as well. Potassium supplementation is recommended in hypokalium patient. The administration of potassium creates increased efflux of potassium with a shortened QTC interval of potassium. Because electrolytes imbalance are common in hospitalization patients, it is important to monitor these values and determine where the supplementation is needed. Role of pharmacists. Uh, pharmacists can help reduce uh, torso deployment occurrence through clinical intervention and monitoring and can aid in the therapeutic substitution of drugs which are more favorite pro profile. Classes such as hemotherapy agents or fluoroquinolones have different levels of QT prolongation. If indicated, the pharmacist may suggest conversion to an agent with less QT prolongation. Electrolyte monitoring and necessary supplementation alter controllable uh, risk factors to progression 
or two thirds of the points. Hospitalized patient taking the reactor who already at risk of electrolyte abnormalities or thirds of the points. A higher risk group easily monitored by pharmacists on a daily basis. Pharmacists must be vigilant about monitoring patients for drug drug interactions and may increase the risk of QT prolongation and uh, potentially uh, and potentially towards uh, the point. The, by the paying attention to patient medication list, pharmacists may identify patient uh, patient at risk for, for QT prolongation progression to the dose at the point. Patients receiving one or more QT prolongation therapies are increased at risk and shall be monitored for changing in QT interval. If QT prolongation occurs, removal or substitution for curing agents should be considered. Pharmacists must also take on clearance of QT prolonged medication. Decreased hepatic and renal function may increase the patient exposure to QT pro prolonged medications, thereby increasing risk. The use of the drugs that alter renal and hepatic functions, such as enzyme inducer or inhibition by glycoprotein inhibitor, may alter serum concentration and decrease the therapeutic benefit of patients and risk for pro a prolonged drug exposure. Drug induced prolongation to some point, K points. Uh, drug inducing QT prolongation to some the points are increased public health problems. The blockade of IKR potassium current by these drugs in response to the aporrhythmic effect. Measurements of QT interval should be correct of heart rate. Antiarrhythmic drugs, non sedate and anistamines, macrolide antibiotic, antifungals, antimalarials, tricyclic antidepressants, neoleptic, and prokinetic have be, all been implicated in causing QT prolongation or autors at the point. Co administration of multiply drugs, especially other QT prolonged drugs, and hepatic cytochrome uh, uh, 450. Cytochrome 3A4 is an enzyme inhibitor must be avoided. The risk of QT prolongation is increasing in females, patients with organic heart disease, for example, congenital long QT syndrome, myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure, dilated cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic cardiopathy, cardiohypokalemia and hepatic impairment. The treatment of drug induced torsade depots include identified and withdrawn and often drugs, re replenishing the potassium concentration 4.55 millimole in lean, infusing intravenous magnesium 1 to grams. In resistant case, a temporary cardiac patient may be needed. My dear colleagues, uh, thank you very much for your attention, for your participation in my webinar. I'd be very thankful if you will find the ability to subscribe to my channel. It will increase possibility for uh, our medical healthcare professionals and pharmaceutical industry to uh, ability to get new knowledge. And I think it will be helpful in your practical uh, activity. Uh, please uh, leave your comments, uh, leave your questions, and I will thank you if you will like it, and I will thank you if you will share it for your colleagues because I am working for you, and please, uh, if it's possible, uh, I uh, will answer on your questions because it's very important for me, and uh, at least. Um, uh, I now start working on book and uh, your um, practical cases you discuss is very thankful for your question and LinkedIn will, will be help me to make it more <coughs> suitable for you uh, because we uh, met the situation in your uh, practice uh, before and I met in my practice and I think that we're working in my problem uh, it's increasing safety uh, of patients. Thank you very much. See you in my future lectures. Bye-bye.